Hello, I'm Christopher Bayliss from Indigage Fast Growth. Today we're focusing on the Fast Growth Workbook entitled Achieve Additional Profitable Revenues. Today I'm at CNO Tractors in Blandford in England and I'm with David Whitcomb, sure. who is the Parts Export Manager for CNO Tractors. Welcome, David. Thank, Thank you for you. giving me your time. Okay. What we're going to do today, David, is to, over the next three or four minutes, just talk about the context for this particular workbook. And then I'm going to share with the, the reader, viewer, three hints for them to make the most of it, the workbook. Is okay with you? For those of you who've worked on other workbooks, you know that on page one, we normally start with what's the strategic problem. Today, for a change, it's what's the opportunity? So what's the opportunity? Well, in these challenging economic times, uh, when sales, getting sales can be a challenge, there's often easy money-making opportunities for you. Uh, other than just generating more sales. And that's what we're going to concentrate on. Um, and we're going to share with you three tips on how to do that later on. But I'm going to introduce David and ask him to tell us about an interesting story uh, that he had happened to him a few years ago when he was at a conference uh, with CNO Tractors. David, tell me about that story. Well, we were at this conference uh, with our main franchise and they were um, showcasing their suppliers who uh, came onto stage one after another, explaining all about their companies, their products. And after about the third or fourth one, we, we were then starting to, to nod off, mm. uh, hearing <laughs> the same thing again and again. Uh, but before we went in, one, one of the suppliers who I know very well came to me and said, uh, would I sit in the front row and would I just put my hand up when he looked at me and asked a question? And I said, okay. So um, he came onto the stage, introduced himself, and then uh, said, right, what are we all here for? And I stuck my hand up and he said, we're here to make money. And he put his hand in his pocket. He brought out a pile of 50 pound notes and said, loads of money. Loads of we're money. here to make loads of money. Everybody in the room immediately had his attention and, <laughs> and they were looking. And every time he asked a question, my hand would go up. <laughs> he would give me a 50 pound note for answering the question. Uh, in a very few minutes' time, everybody in the room was sticking their hand up because they all wanted a £50 note. Um, but he, he gave us uh, some incentive to, to look at what he was saying, to listen to what he was doing, mm. and, and it was a very enjoyable 10 minutes. <laughs> so it was, it was, uh, uh, I haven't seen anything like that. <laughs> Loads of money. Um, so that's really the flavour for this particular workshop. Indeed, many of them are about making money. So. We're in England at the moment, there's a picture of our beloved Queen. It's a 20 pound note. So that's the picture that I'd like people to take away from it. Here, how can we make loads of money loads. Other, than, other than sales? Um, do you have a favorite charity? Uh, our favorite charity is one of the cancer trusts. That you look uh, after? That um, um, sort of we look after here at the, at the company. Can you donate it to that charity for Lovely. me? Lovely, thank you very You're much. You're very welcome. welcome. Okay. So that's the context for this. Uh, lots of opportunities to make loads of money. What I'm going to do now is just go through three tips on helping you and, 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 and also the people who've downloaded this uh, particular workbook to get the most out of it. Okay. okay. So the first tip is that identify potential additional revenues. Now I call them revenues rather than just sales because they don't have to be uh, extra sales. Now I think in CNO Tractors you've identified some revenues. Yes, we, we, we've, uh, we've looked at various things within the company. Um, like everything, it's easy to look at the easiest things that you can do. They're obviously not going to cost you any extra. Uh, we found that we had some empty office space, so, so we, we've let that out, which yeah. is bringing in a regular income. Uh, we're also looking at our old stock, um, stock that's been on the shelf for some years, rather than maybe uh, bin it or, or get rid of it. Mm. Um, we've been actively pursuing that on eBay. Mm. Um, a, a little time to grow, but it is now turning over a, a, a revenue, which is which is good. Fantastic. So there, there are other things that we're, we're looking into as well. So they didn't cost Sino you know, anything, uh, and they, they're making additional income or revenue, as you, uh, we call it. Okay, so in this 
particular workbook on page 2A, 2B, 2C, we've listed, and I don't know if you can see that, up to 50 ideas, proven ideas, that actually can generate more revenue. They're under different categories, so uh, selling or renting spare resources, like offices and spare production capacity, etc. Selling additional products, you know, I know you've done a lot about that yeah. with the innovation team. Spares, end of line products, etc. Um, selling additional services, a massive area. Most of the businesses that, um, that we work with and will be using this are service based companies. So, what other additional services uh, could you sell? And then finally, uh, we've all got some intellectual property, patents, designs, copyright. Often you can find a way to, 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 to sell those. Very easy. So 50 ideas. Uh, lots of white space for you to, uh, to uh, make your additional ones. Uh, and my proposal is you generate, first of all, on yourself, uh, maybe another 10 more. And then more importantly, do it with your team. Yeah. Because none of us is as smart as all of us. And other people can see this. Just options, just additional things you could do. So that's hint number one. Hint number two is having generated some, is to evaluate the likely benefits of these various options. So from your 50 plus uh, options, I suggest what you do is identify three, rule of three, like you just said, three really good options uh, that could generate you some you know, useful income, possibly between 10 and 20% of your current turnover. Uh, so those are there. And then identify what the anticipated annual revenues would be. Highest, lowest, highest, lowest. Uh, okay, and then finally work out what the gross profit. Very simple stuff. Um, so generate some options, identify three, and just do some very simple financial analysis to evaluate the likely benefits. And the third thing, and we're very strong on this in all the workbooks, is plan. Nothing happens without a plan, does it? So a little plan. So you've got your three options there um, and what actions you're going to take to implement them. If you're going to rent some office uh, to other people, well, you've got to take some action to find some people who want to rent it. Um, so to implement and to market them. Very, very simple. Keep it simple. Uh, and then again, identify the key actions. So the third thing is plan and identify the key actions. Every fast growth workbook ends on the same page, so it's the same, same page, that is page five or six, depending on the length of the workbook. And if we read that, David, it says, decide your next action. Very important then, having got your plan, take action on it. Uh, urgent action. Um, so to refine your plan, and then more importantly, to engage your people in it. And it's as simple as that. And as I said at the beginning, uh, by implementing this, no guarantees, but I believe you can easily generate an additional 10 to 20 percent additional revenue, additional turnover for virtually no investment. Thank you very much for your time. May I wish you every success with your uh, export sales. I know it's really exciting for you, getting contracts all over the, the world for your parts and your tractors. Uh, good luck with that. Okay, thank you very much, Christian.